preparing to live stream. Dun, 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 dun. Does it think it, it's a lot easier right, than so people think it is to live stream from Zoom. <gasps> oh my gosh, I think. Preparing to live stream. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my gosh. Does it think it, it's a lot easier right, than so people think it is to live stream from Zoom. Okay, why is this? <gasps> oh my gosh, I think. We're doing it. Oh my gosh. It's a lot easier than people think it is to live stream from Zoom. Okay, why is this? Oh my gosh. Okay, so what are we doing here? We're live. Turn off your um, audio on your computer. That's mine? Yeah, it's picking up your audio. So what are we doing there? Now, can you still hear me? Oh, no. Or, um, audio on your computer. What? Sorry, say that again? Yeah, it's picking up your audio. So what do I have to do for that? What you should do is turn down your um, speakers. So then I won't be able to, I can't hear you. Well, for the moment, it prevents their feedback and we can play with things. Okay, tech problems. Okay, I don't know how to turn down my speakers. So for those that are here, we are just trying to work out a few kinks. Hang on, 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 hang on. Um. Um. I'm consulting my guru. Our, our friend Zakia, she's messaging me now too. She's trying to help me. <laughs> I'm consulting my guru. All right. Our, All right. Our friend Zakia, she's messaging me now too. She's trying to help me. <laughs> I'm just happy that we've even got this far. We're both on the screen. Ooh. Is your YouTube open? I'm just happy that we've even got this far. We are both on the screen. <gasps> Turn your volume down on your YouTube video. Oh my God, you disappeared. It's okay. I'm still here. Just turn your volume down on your YouTube video. Um. I'm a genius. Can you see me though? I see you, yep, yep. One step at a time. If we got the feedback dealt with um, and the and we're not you're not hearing us on the speakers 20 seconds later via YouTube, that's what I forgot that we needed to do. Okay. 
So you can hear me, which is great. Um, all you'll want to do is, you know, you got those three buttons at the top of your, um, well, if you've got YouTube open, you should see me on the YouTube screen. I closed you. Okay. <laughs> because that, my brain was like, why are we feet? And then my brain went, wait a minute. We just There's a 20 um, second delay is, you know, between when we talk and when YouTube your, registers us. So on the YouTube oh, video yes. itself, where you've got at the bottom, you've got the little sound icon turn your sound off on your YouTube video. Okay. Yeah. This is turning into a tech lesson. Because all that does it. is it prevents your speakers from repeating the audio. So on the YouTube video itself. Yeah. Where you've got at the bottom, you've got the little sound icon. And we got to wait to see if it works. Turn your sound off on your YouTube <gasps> yeah. Okay, I think I did it. Yeah. Because YouTube is about 20 seconds behind our conversation. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. So if we <laughs> keep talking and there's no sound back coming out, we figured it out. We, All we right. figured out what the issue was. Oh, a little bit a lot of work. I forget to do it too. When I put videos in, into the live, I'll forget to occasionally turn off. Uh, my sound on the YouTube itself so that my speakers start talking to me. Okay. Now I, okay, now I think I've got it. So next, next, next week when we do this, we won't have to worry about all this. Hey, that setup was pretty quick and easy. I, I'm amazed that it's working. Yeah. Oh, it was pretty quick and easy. <laughs> Did the best we could. Neither one of us have a degree in tech. Our tech person is having dinner in Ontario. Well, my tech person's having dinner. <laughs> In Waterloo. <laughs> Which is not that far away from me. No, no. And when there is no pandemic, take her to some knitting stores, please. <laughs> she can drive. She can go meet you somewhere. I could totally do that. Absolutely can do that. She needs a professional enabler. They rent a house now. She's got space. It needs yarn. I can help her with that. Yeah, I thought I thought I you might. I thought you might. I can just hear her now going, Jocelyn. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Well, after getting all this tech set up done, this is going to make knitting a sweater in a couple of weeks. Easy peasy. Yep. <sighs> I thought it might be a complicated setup. So I made sure to secure myself some beverage. Okay. I think I need one. <laughs> Downside is I'm pretty much a teetotaler, so that's never got booze in it. Because <laughs> I don't drink, so. These old th I don't either, but if there's too many more tech things like this, I may start. <laughs> give, it, give, it, give up the ghost, just start drinking. <laughs> oh, my oh my gosh. Goodness. Okay, so hey, welcome Jocelyn. Hi, we made it. I know. So for you guys who don't watch Jocelyn's podcast, this is Jocelyn from Northern Nets podcast. It's true. Tisai, the Jocelyn. Yeah. So how, how did we come up with this idea? Was this our friend Asa's idea um, originally? I think we randomly started off with a one-off comment that Asa latched onto and I went, that sounds like a good idea. And we both went, okay. In the realm of all good ideas. I know. Well, well, exactly. Really, why would you ever say no to knitting, right? Um, I rarely do. So she's no, talked no. me into many of things. Many more things to come. I know. Okay, so this is going to be fun. Mm -hmm. You're oh, in charge, oh. man. It's your channel. It's weird. I'm usually the bossy pants one on mine. All right. So, a, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so let's talk. So the idea behind this is that we are both going to knit a bulky weight sweater and see how far we can get in two weeks time. That's right. All right. Do you have your pattern and your yarn picked out? I do. 
I even swatched. You'd be so proud. <laughs> I did too. Oh, I love that color. I know. It's so good. Okay, so here, here's a, oh wait, I don't even know if I want to bring this up again, but so can you see me, like you can see me in real time, right? Yep. Yeah, see, I see you in real time. See, I can't see you. I'm seeing like the leg or what the live stream is, right? Okay. Uh, what it is, is it means you've got your YouTube up. So if you scroll down to the bottom of your screen where your um, bar at the bottom of your Windows program is, if you scroll over, they'll tell you what you have. Like you'll have internet open, you'll have Zoom open, you'll have, I don't know, whatever other programs you have open on your computer at the moment. If you click the Zoom button, it should open up the Zoom application on top of your internet screen, which would be our window. It's not, it just gives me like the main Zoom screen. Okay, so that I don't know. That doesn't make much sense to me. But okay, I'm, let's just not worry about it. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I'll just be a little bit delayed in my my replies and stuff, which is fine. That's okay. Or if you, well, I mean, if you can't see me, I'm used to auditorily describing what I'm doing anyway. Okay. So if you can hear me, I can tell you what's going on. I can hear you. Yeah, yeah, I can tell you what's going on. Okay. That's not a problem. I am verbose in my wordage. <laughs> okay, so why don't you show everybody what your yarn is i am using in the realm of everyone is going to laugh at the volume of how tight i knit i am using some worsted weight yarn to get gauge at the right needle for a bulky weight sweater because <laughs> tight knitter i am you must be so what gauge are you getting then i am getting 15 stitches per four inches on a worsted weight on a six millimeter needle. And I'm doing it in a beautiful, deep garnet red color from Knit Picks in their Wool of the Andes. <gasps> nice. And you know, I have never used that yarn. I love it. It's got just a little bit of tooth without being too much. So it's really nice against my skin. And it has got a beautiful wear quality to it. I'm actually, <laughs> I'm wearing a Knit Pick sweater. No, this is Estelle is what I got on. I've, oh, cool. I've worked in Wool of the Andes before and I, I really enjoy it. I my flat white sweaters in Wool of the Andes. My cat also <laughs> loves that sweater too. So <laughs> I've got a really nice sort of loose, well, I don't want to say loose, but I've got a really nice drape to my fabric. So it like folds really well. Yes. So I'm going to have a really beautiful breezy drape to the cardigan, which is what I'm looking for because the pattern I picked is really sort of ideal for like over summer dresses and yeah. spring dresses. So I didn't want a tight weave in my no. fabric. No, no. Given the time of year, I want to be wearing this during. That sounds good. So, I can, and I can see your color. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's just, yeah, 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 yeah. It's just a really, really pretty red. That's nice. So does it have like, did you, your gauge swatched is, it has a pattern on it, doesn't it? Nope. Nope. It's just That's a wall. Nice. When I do my gauge swatches, I don't do um, all the rows up that you're supposed to. So like my gauge swatches tend to be rectangular rather than square. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. do just as many rows up. I need to, to get my okay. gauge across, but I don't worry about my row count. Because oh, I, I see. My row count is always a two rows too long for whatever reason I'm always just it, it it's just how it works which is okay. fine because I want the extra length all the time so it doesn't bother me in the slightest okay yeah and I see because I just saw you hold it up again and I think it was just because it's so loose when I first when I first saw a glimpse of it I yeah. thought it looked but it's just because you've got a nice loose and drapey fabric gauge yeah, yeah. which is perfect for the pattern I picked so I'm super happy with it. Wonderful. Okay, so what is your pattern? I'm going to knit the habanero sweater, which I at some point had the page up with the author designer. <laughs> I got words. Hang on, I got to lean on the screen, guys, because I can't see my own computer screen. Uh, <laughs> sitting too far away. 
if, uh, if you guys are new and you don't know me, I'm actually visually impaired, so I am technically classified as legally blind, which means I don't see much. <laughs> Uh, yes, I'm working on the Habanero sweater. I'm just looking for the um, designer's name here so you guys can find it on Ravelry. If you can use Ravelry, uh, you can find it there. I also know that you can just do a Google search for her because it is a free pattern, so it's available as a blog post. So it's the Habanero sweater by Laura Chow. So L-A-U-R-A and then C-H-A-U. Yep, I spelled that correctly. I don't think I've knit any of her patterns. Ooh. Her name's I haven't knit any of hers either. But I'm very excited to try. And I'm super excited to go cat. You don't belong here. <sighs> <sighs> well, okay. So you said so you said a six millimeter needle. So that's yeah. interesting. Because my yarn is actually bulky. <laughs> And I'm using a six millimeter needle, which is, and I usually, I'm a very loose knitter. So typically I need to go down a needle size, mm -hmm. but I did not. Oh, I can see the kitty now. <laughs> I made sure to feed Daisy to keep her occupied while we were all chatting. This monster oh. got her dinner early, early. Oh. <laughs> early. She's, she's looking for dessert now. Uh-huh. She's looking to be a pain in the butt. <laughs> Okay, so my yarn is Cascade 128 Superwash. Oh. And this was, oh my gosh, it's so nice. And I almost didn't even, I totally forgot about it. I had, so back here on my wall, I had, where did it go? I, here it is. I had some really, really, really old stash. Oh my, that was a lot of reallys in there. It's like really old. I've had it for like 10 years and it was like ancient when I got it at, I don't know, a thrift store or something. I don't even remember this. Anyways, it's been sitting on my shelf and it's the exact, it's bulky. I had 13 balls of it. I thought, perfect. It's just sitting here waiting to be a sweater, right? Absolutely. Well, I did my gauge swatch. And I tried three different needle sizes and oh my goodness, I do not like the feel of this fabric at all. It's not going to work then. No, it was just, oh, so I really debated. I'm like, well, I have it. Should I just knit it? And I thought, oh, I'm not going to really, A, I'm not totally sure I want a white sweater, but I don't okay. know if I, maybe if I had a white sweater, I would wear it. Uh, see, that's always, if you're not sure if you'll wear a white sweater, odds are good you won't. Well, that's kind of what I'm thinking, right? Yeah, yeah. Because if you're either, you're either like me and you're like, yeah, white sweater, done. Or you're like, oh, but what if I spill something on my sweater? So it's, I usually find for people if they wear white, doesn't bother them in the slightest. But if they're hesitant about wearing white, they just won't pick that to wear. It'll sit in their closet, look great, but they won't ever use the item. That and that was kind of what I was afraid of. So yeah. I was swatching this last night when I was doing a Zoom call with some of my other um, knit buddies. And afterwards, I got off the I got, got I was going to say I got off the phone, got off the the Zoom call, right? And I, I thought I have this box sitting in my dining room of ices. And it had, and I thought, I'm sure there's some bulky in there. And there is almost enough in this one color to do a sweater. And there's a cup, two balls in this lighter brown. So I thought I can incorporate this in here somewhere too. And this should give me lots of yarn for a sweater. So I immediately swatched this, like, but at this point, it was getting later on in the evening. So I swatched it. I gave it a little bath. I even washed my swatch, laid it out, some I blocked it. Okay. And uh, oh my gosh, I love the, love the feel of this. Love yeah. the feel of this. Yeah. Okay. So, like that, you'll wear. So, I will wear. I love this. So, the white yarn, I'm going to donate. Okay. 
absolutely no yeah because if you're if you're not going to use it and it's not going to be something that you you enjoy working on there's no point in keeping it no 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 no. give it away to a home where it can be used yep somebody else who's going to like white and will definitely wear it they should have it Mm -hmm. did you want to check to make sure that uh you're able to see the chat stream on youtube you know what? I tried looking for that, but I don't want to mess anything because I'm not seeing any chat. Okay. So then there's something Diana was saying that she can't comment, but I'm not too sure what buttons to play with. <laughs> uh, it would be on your end, but I'm not sure where it would be on your YouTube with your YouTube live and why I didn't pick up on the, on the chat, like why I didn't start the chat thread. So that I don't know that I'd actually have to do some reading on. Well, I'm going to comment here. Yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah. Which happens. Oh. Um, uh, yeah. Well, this is, this will be, definitely a good learning experience for me for sure it does it makes me really excited to be able to do all this techie technology stuff right even though obviously we haven't got it down working perfect oh my gosh i have a chat okay i don't maybe i all i all i did was do i just said hello okay and can well, people well, chat now Walter W says it worked. Ha! Huh. Okay, hey, that's all it takes. Oh, Amazing. there we go. <laughs> oh, chat is working now. Hi, yep. Catherine. Okay, so maybe it. No, you just needed to to say hi to begin I, with, for I whatever reason. Needed to initiate it. I do not know. I don't know that much about tech. I'm not Diana. I don't. <laughs> I don't know either, but that's okay. We, all I can give you. Is a nice background and a cat sleeping in her cat perch in the corner. That's She's all I can do. Lovely. Hi, Becky. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are you guys like deserve? I don't know what you guys deserve. Something. A high five for hanging out with us while we <laughs> we get all this sorted out. It's okay. I keep waiting for my sister to wander downstairs. I share a house with my sister and my brother-in-law, yeah. and she owes me a cake. Now, she said she was going to uh, take two pieces of cake for quality control purposes, which is totally <laughs> fine. I believe in quality control purposes, but I keep waiting for this cake to appear. So I'm like, <laughs> might get a sibling. I would be that. Hey, I would do almost anything for some cake. <laughs> She's oh, a baker. <coughs> so. So Susie you know, and Katia and. Good. Oh, Sh it's Sh is that Shaylin? I know we're gonna all these comments now. There you go. Figured it out. Australia. Oh no, you're home sick from work. Oh well, I'm glad all of our shenanigans, our our tech, um, <laughs> was making you smile. Katia, how are you? Katia, Katia and I chat on my um, comments on my other videos. So mm -hmm. it is like Katia, we're like this much closer to like being together in person now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and diana said hi that that's probably my diana i think it is your diana sorry that's diana fine. i would have seen your text sooner but i've got everything turned off because my phone <laughs> beeps and bops all day okay. long oh so okay so i didn't tell you about my pattern which no. i'm guessing you probably are guessing that i don't have a pattern i am just going <gasps> to make it up as I go, I'm going to use my gauge to garment process. Okay. Okay. Which is why I like washed my swatch mm -hmm. because it's, because it's super wash and we all know super wash can go kind of yeah. crazy when you wash it. Right. So super wash it, can grow. It can grow. And this did not maybe just a smidge, but not like maybe a quarter of a stitch, which put me right on gauge. Oh, nice. Which, which I mean, right on gauge. I mean, not, not uh, that I'm trying to get gauge, but it is like, it, it gives me now that 16 stitches per, for four inches. Okay. Which I which wasn't really, 
yeah I mean I didn't care right because I'm going to figure it out with my measurements and everything anyways so um um <laughs> oh Becky says we're we're funny we're funny and we're entertaining <laughs> oh you're good with Sherry okay okay it's hard I blame it well you know Okay, so Sherry, I know I'll just tell you a quick little story because my name is Louise, right? And so I often get called Lois or I don't know, any version of whatever, right? And people always have to ask me how to spell my name. I was in the store today for work and the poor woman in front of me, she had to spell her first name and her last name, which made me feel better because I have gone 50 years having to spell my first name and I, and I, and I have blamed it on my mother too. And I thought, well, at least I've never thought it could be worse. I thought I could have to spell with first and last name. <laughs> I don't care how people spell my name. Oh, well, I've just, you know, I, I just, I just answer to anything. Right. So there's a lot worse things I have to worry about. True. Oh, so, okay. So are, have you cast on for your sweater or you're going to cast on like right now? I hey, just Audrey, did. You just did? <laughs> there was a Louise story. I had time. <laughs> <laughs> you like have a head start on me already here. Listen, this is the cast on live stream. It is. All right. I, I am doing as instructed. This is what we decided. The only problem is I can only do two rows. Then I have to reread the pattern section for the yoke and body. <laughs> Cause it gets a, it's not a, it's not a beginner friendly pattern. So she doesn't do a lot of hand holding. Which oh yeah. This is not my first sweater, so it's fine. But it does mean I need to, you know, pay just a smidge bit of attention to what I'm doing after my first knit and purl row. <laughs> I know. Which I can do. I'm going to take some time. Oh, so I, you guys, I, I have to say, I am so excited because this is Thursday night. I have tomorrow off and Monday is a holiday for us here. Oh, so I know. I get an I, extra day this week. That's yes, you do. <laughs> so Monday is fair game. You can knit all day Monday. Woohoo! Well, as much as I get done on Monday, because Monday is when I edit the video for um, for YouTube for our for my channel, so yeah. I usually lose like five hours to that. So, me and Diana babble a lot. <laughs> a lot. Okay, just hey, take some of it out. Jocelyn. Mm, yes. Catherine is asking about your sweater. Sure. Habanero. Habanero. So yeah. Hab. How do you? Can you? Sure. It's H A B A R E N O. E N O. Okay. I just typed it in the chat here. Yeah. Habanero. Just like the hot pepper, right? Just like the hot pepper. It's by Laura Chow. So Laura L A U R A and then Chow C H A U. C H A U. So uh, available either or, either through her blog or through Ravelry, depending on what format people use. Okay. Oh, so our, so Susanna's here, and so she's saying, yeah. Oh, look, yeah. So. Like I didn't watch Monday night, Susanna, and I saw you were encouraging her to make a cropped sweater for a small person. <laughs> I saw that. I saw that. <laughs> so Susanna's saying, so I, we all have holidays. So we, it's family day here in Ontario, and Susanna's saying in Alberta, it's family day, and Jocelyn, you, in Manitoba, it's Louis. It'll Ray. be something. And, uh, oh stream problems my stream will catch up oh yeah i just kind of that's okay it happens it happens yeah not the end of the world all right i'm oh jill is here hey jill i don't notice um because i work from home and i work for myself i don't notice long weekends and because i come from a background of retail I've never had a long weekend. I don't understand why everyone gets so excited about them because I've always worked them anyway. Yes. So I'm like, oh, okay, <laughs> sure. I, you know, and I, I say quite often because I feel bad, right? Because I, I get all excited because I'm like thinking it's Thursday night and I don't have to be back working out till Tuesday. 
And then I feel bad because I, I truly do love my job, yeah. but I also like vacation time away from it too. <laughs> Caesar for me is I'll get up and it'll be a normal Monday for me. I will get up and do all the normal Monday things. Yeah. And I could stay in my pajamas. Which is a part of my normal that... Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Except that I have to do my live, my live Monday video. So I had better not be in my pajamas, I'm guessing. You know, <laughs> pajama bottoms, no one will know. That's we'll true. Half of you, so really. That's true. I could. Do you need to put on pants? I don't think so. <laughs> well, this is all about, we're all about sweaters. We're only about the top halves here, right? So. You don't see anything below the girls. It's fine. That's right. It's fine. Oh. So. All right. I am cast on. Woohoo! I know. I officially started and oh my gosh. I am so glad I went with this yarn. I am really happy too because you didn't sound super pleased with the white and that just wouldn't have been good at all. No, and I would have just been knitting it just because I had it. Yeah. Ugh, ugh. And life is too short for that. Exactly. And this, oh, Susanna saying she's in her PJs. <laughs> As one should be. I had, um, I had a housemate once and I always like wore clothes when I got home until I, until I had my housemate, my one housemate. She believed hard in the pajama life. So she'd come home from work and the first thing she did was like, let the dogs out. And then she put on her pajamas. Oh. And I, I think it was like second or third week I lived with them, with her. And I was just like, what is this purpose for pajama life? So she explained the theory of pajama life. I'm a hardcore convert. The first thing I do when I come home is I put on my pajamas. See, and I don't do that. But look oh, at, see, Sherry is, oh, Sherry's agreeing. She's saying like the same as you. She said she's never had a long weekend. She's always worked them. Work them. That's fine. It's what I'm used to. Uh, now, yeah. because I work from home, I use it to tell the difference between when it's work time and when it's home time. So when it's work time, I'm in my work clothes. And then when I'm done work, I get off my computer because most of my fun stuff is also computer related. I get off the computer, I do something, usually a chore, and then I put on my pajamas. And then my brain knows we're not in work mode anymore. Right. We're in home mode. So like now I use it to differentiate between the two differences. But yeah, there was an absolutely nothing better than getting home after like a, a eight or nine hour work day in retail plus like an hour commute to get home and just literally put on my pajamas. Yes. <laughs> so good. Hardcore convert. Now I'm like, eh, I get out of bed in the morning. If I'm not going to work, I don't immediately get out of my pajamas. <laughs> I think a lot of people are like that, right? Yeah. It's, um, yeah. Oh my God. Oh, Becky is saying she's in PJs too. Well, I'm glad everybody is so comfy. It should be comfy. <laughs> well, the Thursday okay. night. Well, I know. And it's the start of the weekend. I know. It is. Oh, Jill says, Jill says her girls cover most of her anyway. <laughs> Listen, let's not yeah. lie to people. When we're done this, this bra is coming off and I'm getting ready I, for critical role tonight. And I'm going to be putting on my PJs. <laughs> exactly. That's exactly what I was thinking. I'm thinking, yeah, that all depends. Yeah. Whether bra's on or bra's off. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh my gosh. Okay. So I have cast on, I've got to find some markers so I can mark where my red so what kind of sleeves does your sweater have? Mine are raglan and they're a full length sleeve. Okay, that's what mine are too. So I've got to mark where my raglan increases are going to be and my front increases. And then I am good to go. I'm going to have a decorative button band. <laughs> decorative? <laughs> That sounds <laughs> okay. The laughing is is concerning me, Jocelyn. <laughs> because my how do how do well, we always phrase this? I'm built more like an anime character than is probably normal. <laughs> so there is 
Oh my goodness, I did the math once. Six inches of difference between my bust and my upper bust measurement. And from my bust to my rib cage, there is almost 12 inches difference. Oh. I'm built like an anime figure. Okay, so that's, yes, you have more curves there than I do because I know because my my measurements there's there there's there's a difference too but I'm not quite that much mine is a fairly extreme differential so I make sweaters for my upper bust measurement which makes all of them very fitted across the chest which I'm I'm comfortable with it being fitted across the chest that doesn't bother me but it automatically makes everything a line underneath so it's like semi fit everywhere except for the girls where it's snug. So I look like a girl. <laughs> but if I make it for my bust measurement, it's way too big. Sleeves are too big. Necks are off. It's all off because the rest of me is the 47 inches. It's just the girls are not. So I'll have a button band, but I'm making the 47.5 inch sweater so that it fits the rest of me, which means the buttons will not close. <laughs> I never do up sweaters anyways. That's overrated. Okay, so I'm. So... There we go. I've done the two rows I can. I got to wait now. <laughs> so I was 42 and 49. Yeah. Yeah, that's not too bad of a difference. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I'm trying to, trying to measure underneath and I can't see it. <laughs> You're usually about your bra band size. That would make sense. I yep. mean, that, that's, that's, that's that. Yep. <laughs> okay. I'm going to have to move, look over the girls. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, yep. Somewhat. Yep. Okay. Anyways. My, my big one is from the, from the chest to the under bust. That's the big differential. It's not quite as large between the bust and the upper bust, but yeah. that's because I was that gifted with shoulders to go with this chest. <laughs> Need something to. He's going to help, help hold them up, uh, but I definitely have the hourglass shape. So my smallest part of my waist is in that natural waist section where yeah. underneath, underneath the chest into about my rib cage, bottom of my rib cage space. Then I flare out a little bit, not as aggressive as a true hourglass. I'm a little more a uh, triangle than that. Cause it just, they're just, they're, they're, the girls are so big. <laughs> and as I keep losing weight, they don't shrink. They're just getting bigger. <laughs> It's so, all in like proportion, right? It's like now they're, yeah, I know. I look proportioned at my height and size. I just look a smidge top heavy, which is fine. It doesn't bother me. Oh, then actually then A-line sweaters would actually help, right? Because yep. it would bring out your eye wider. Yeah. 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 So I've just, for me, I found the magical sort of de denominator is to make the sweaters at that 47 inch or 48 inch uh, bust measurement, knowing mine's a 52, uh, knowing that it's going to be fitted across the chest, which I, I'm not uncomfortable with, but then everything else just flows out to A-line. So yeah. it has worked great. Now that I figured out that's what I need to do, that is not the only math I need to do. That's just the easiest math I need to do. So I already know like my body frame is going to be longer for my um, arm, my underarm to my hip bone because I don't do my natural hip bone. I do below the butt because I've got such long legs. Again, I'm trying to make that body appear more balanced. Right. So right. if I did it straight to my hip bone, you could tell that I am boobs and legs. That's, that's, that's it. That's what, <laughs> and great for country songs. Not so useful if you just want to be a normal human being. <laughs> well, so I wear things longer. I do it all the time. So, so it's, well, it's what I got to do. Well, but that's, that's like the, the perfect reason why we knit, right? Is so that you can adjust <sighs> yeah. to get exactly what you need to flatter your body. Right. Yeah. So I'm, I'm very happy with that. This is the first time I've had sweaters that fit me properly is since I've started making them because I can make yeah. the sleeves long enough. I can make the body long enough and they're not so large that I look like I'm walking around in my boyfriend's sweater. Yeah. Which is not a shape that looks good on me. No. And that's, no, I know. I think that, and I think that's what a lot of people do is make them always make them too big. So it's, it's just for me it's not flattering like I made the do I still have it here 
I did a thingy. I do. Ooh, it's over here. Ugh. Things just live on my sewing machine. I made the Gabbro sweater in December, November, and it's a fitted bulky. Mm. But it, it's fitted. It is snug all the way down. What's that? Cause it didn't, it didn't, it wasn't as big as it needed to be to go around me at the upper bust measurement. I had to make it a touch bigger and knew it would be super snug. And it is, <laughs> but I wanted it as a layering piece in minus 30 degree weather. So it'll work. There, well, there you go. It's perfect. See, and I think I'm going to make this sweater. I'm going to make it a line. Okay. I wanted to, yeah, I think I'm going to, yeah. Come in and out. I think, I think. I'll know more when I get there, but that's the plan. I had to poke the cat. Oh, well, I could see she's napping up there quite nicely. Oh yeah, that's her new favorite spot. I changed my office around so she could stalk me effectively without actually getting underfoot, which meant moving her cat tree into the space so that she could have somewhere she could monitor me. Like well, the stalker like that she is very happy up there oh yes i see you poking her now oh you big meanie <laughs> no no farts given this monster is up at three in the morning racing around like a crazy person oh i know so is daisy crazy enough <sighs> she's not old enough yet she's only four so she's gonna be active still for a while oh yeah see so, yeah daisy shouldn't she's she's older <laughs> she should be sleeping leaving me alone at night but she doesn't you know. it's uh, I pay her back by poking her in the middle of the day. For my see, that's how it feels. <laughs> so, do you have any guidelines for your sweater? Have you kind of broken it down, thinking where you want to be, like after the weekend or by next Thursday when we come back and chat and do a catch up? I'm hoping by next Thursday to be there's this uh, lace detailing at the in the bottom section. Yeah. Of the habit, I'm hoping to be at that lace section, mm -hmm. which okay. is a significant amount of the body. Yep. This is that last little bit. So I'm hoping to be at that part because the more I can do this week, noting that to make it fairer, guys, I'm not allowed to work on this sweater during Louise's work hours. <laughs> <laughs> so there is a chunk of time when I'm not allowed to work on this sweater, which is good because I have work to do. <laughs> So there is stuff I need to be doing anyway. So I'm hoping to like super ideal pipe dream would be done the body by next Thursday. But that's a bit of a, that's a bit of a pipe dream. But I bog down so much at sleeves. I have to try to push as hard as I can to get as much as I can done this week. Because it doesn't matter if I get the whole body done this week. I have never done two sleeves in a week in my life. <laughs> Bulky or not. The, hab the gabbro was only elbow length sleeves and they took me two weeks to do. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you know what I'm going to do? I am going to, I'm going to, so I'm going to knit down to the underarm divide and then yeah. I'm going to knit my sleeves first before I do the body. Ooh, I'm I would be smart if I did that. I'm gonna I never do that. Do that. <laughs> I know. I sometimes do. And um, hi, Joan. Thanks for joining us. I, I'm going to, because then I think I will have all the, well, not that sleeves are tricky, but I mean, you got to do the shaping and, and, and stuff. So I'll have all that done. And then I can just the second week, I can just knit the body. Okay. That makes sense. That's kind of what I'm, what I'm hoping for. It'll probably come down to whether or not if I have another six millimeter needle free at the moment to do the sleeves while the sweater is still on the body needle. Ooh. I don't know if I do, but it's not because I don't have extra six millimeter needles. It's because I have like 15 other whips at the moment, I think again. <laughs> I totally understand that. It's easier. I know I thought I may have to do um, a yarn order, I mean, not a yarn order, but a needle order because we're, we're still, in lockdown until Tuesday. So there's no, um, no, no, you can, I can't go run to a yarn shop, right? But I could do order another needle because I don't know if I have a bigger one available either. Um, I did place a needle order. It's called Dad. 
Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and so no. he's going out to get your required needles for you? Mom asked what I wanted for Valentine's Day and I said I needed to replace some of the needles that I've had for a really long time that have the cords broken, finally broken from yeah. the, the needle part, which they happen after, you know, you knit on them a lot for several years. That's fine. They're not interchangeables. I'm hard on my needles. This is not a problem. And I've been upgrading my needles to chow goose. So I was like, cool, I need some more chow goose, mom. And she's like, okay, send your dad a list of the sizes and the length of cord and I'll make him stop by and buy some. <laughs> That's awesome. It could be that, my Valentine's Day present. That's great Valentine's. That's what, just by chance, that's what I found in my needle box was a chow yes. I know. And it's lovely yep. Yep. to knit with too. I'm, I'm, I'm very excited. I don't know how many on my wish list, but I sent a wish list. We'll see what comes. See what comes. Well, yeah. that's um, awesome. They're not, they're not in lockdown in Saskatoon, so he can go and he can stop in at the local knitting store. We're finally just getting out of lockdown in Manitoba. We went down, we were in lockdown for 10 weeks. Oh. Essential purchases only. So nothing but grocery stores were open for 10 weeks. I think yeah. we started like the first week in November and we were like this till almost in, end of January. Boy. Yeah. I know. Yeah. It seems it's a long, it seems like, yeah, we haven't been, we've just been since Boxing Day. Yeah. Um, there, tomorrow we're opening up restaurants, gyms, bars, obviously like super restricted capacities. And finally, libraries are opening up. I was gonna, I was gonna hit the fan if they opened up bars, but I couldn't go to my local library. I was gonna be so mad. I was gonna be so mad because they had curbside pickup here in the city of Winnipeg, but only a couple of libraries were doing it. Okay. And I don't drive because I'm legally blind. So I don't see well enough to drive anymore. So I can't do curbside anything. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Like if the physical location isn't open or there isn't a delivery option, I can't buy from them because I, I can't go. There is no getting in a car to go somewhere for me. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, i even then most of the stuff that they're opening, the accessibility is so bad that I can't change my habits. So I'm still in lockdown <laughs> and going crazy. Uh, yeah. Well, it's because okay. they, we can go to a restaurant, but it has to be with, within your own household. Okay. Contact tracing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. My sister, my brother-in-law and I don't have the same sort of dietary preferences or restrictions. I've got a really bad food allergy and I tend to eat a lot of vegetarian or uh, Japanese or Vietnamese food because it's the stuff I like. But that's, that's what I like. It's not their types of eating. Yeah. So we don't go to the same restaurants, but restaurants are not accessible if I don't have someone there to help me. Right. So I can't go to restaurants still. I've never been able to function in gym, gyms for years now. I can't adjust. Oh, good. Oh, that's not even an option. No, no. Well, no, I don't yeah. go to those. I don't go to those places either. Yeah. Bars. <laughs> nope. I haven't been able to do a bar since I was in my early twenties. I can't see a thing in them anymore at all. It's just this big black void. It, <laughs> com it, it comes down to, do I want to spend money on alcohol or do I yeah. want to buy yarn? I'd rather buy yarn. Totally. I'd oh. rather do a lot of things with my money before I buy booze, Absolutely. like buy cake. I would rather buy cake. I know. Oh, so hey, Jill. So we're we don't have any set patterns. I'm just doing my gauge to garment, and Jocelyn is doing a pattern by Laura Chow called Habanero. Yeah. So yeah, the only only parameters was it was bulky weight yarn, and we've got two weeks, two weeks. Yeah. to see how far we get. Two weeks today. <laughs> two weeks. I know. And it's um, maybe a little crazy, but that's all right. <laughs> oh, and I think I saw a message here. Sherry said that she always does her sleeves right after she does the, the, um, the yoke part too. A lot of people recommend it for me and I, I understand where they're coming from for it. I just don't, I don't know why I don't, I just don't, it just, it just doesn't happen. I couldn't, I couldn't tell you. It is the smarter option to do your sleeves before you have so much body that you're flipping a whole sweater each time you're doing your sleeve, which can certainly add to that ugh, sleeve knitting prospect. But I just, I just don't, I never want to, I just want to finish the body 
and then do deal with the sleeve. So it's it's this is way my way of thinking. But you get the same sort of arguments with like toe up or cuff down. Oh yeah. People find the way they like they're they're attached to their preferred sock knitting method. And that's just I, how I knit sweaters. There's like if you're ever in a group of knitters and you want to start a debate, you ask. Mm-hmm. Who likes Magic Loop or DPNs? Oh, yeah, that's another one. That's another one. Yeah. Cuff down or toe up sock. And then you can just sit back for like two hours and not have to say another word. (laughs) And the conversation will just carry on, right? Oh, yeah, because I'm a hardcore two at a time toe up circular. So I'm a Magic Loop two at a time toe up. Yeah. Yep. With a garter heel. Oh, I love garter heels. Love garter heels. I am never going back to a stockinette heel. They're so nice. One Never of my next socks. I'm not sure. Mar- March is going to be toe. Maybe I could do my guard. I don't know. March or April socks is going to have a garter stitch heel. I'm going to try to stick that in there for some variety on my, my pair of month socks. March is my birthday. I just have to survive. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey, the podcast anniversary did log. I just got to make it to the end. <laughs> just got to get it. You can do it. So, oh, Jill says she's going to try to finish one of her cardigans. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. That would be awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. We can get a two week sweater blitz going here. Why not? I know. Why not? It's the middle of February. Most of us are in lockdown. <laughs> It is super crazy cold. Like all Yeah, we're kind of, we're brisk. What is it, my nieces? It's uh, bracing. <laughs> it's, it's bracing insane. weather. I know. Susanna said she's in cold Calgary. <sighs> and I actually read somewhere last night that said that if it stays cold, like it's supposed to like tonight, Friday and Saturday nights. Mm-hmm. This will be the first time in like the last hundred years that all of Canada was below freezing at the same time for three nights in a row. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. I think I woke up one morning this week and the warm spot in Manitoba was Thompson. So the warm spot in Manitoba was in northern Manitoba. Well, isn't that's the whole thing like with this polar oh. thingy, right? What is a polar? What is a vortex? Polar vortex. Yeah. Is that, yeah, the cold air, what's supposed to be cold in the north, in the south, the hot, like it's all flipping around or something weird, right? Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. But yeah, no, this is, it's, we're minus 30s overnight before our wind chill. So we're minus 40s with the wind chill. Oh. Yeah, so like we're, we're cold. We're Does cold this not moment. just say stay at home and knit yourself a sweater? Oh man, I would love to be able to be getting out of my house. I would be bundled up to the nines. I'd be out walking. Oh, but I'm crazy. See, during the day, like here today with the sun was out, it actually felt nice and warm. There wasn't a lot of wind and the sun was out. So it's the wind that kills us here. Yeah. Here too. And I don't know how, but if anybody's lived in Manitoba, they'll, they'll tell you that it doesn't matter what direction you're walking in. The wind is in your face. It makes no sense. <laughs> I'll have the wind in my back on the way home. No, it's in your face. You're like, could you please pick a direction and just stick to it, please? Thank you. I would not like that because when I go out on days like that, I always start my walk by going into the wind so that I know when I turn around to come home, it'll be better, right? Yeah, I know it just never works for me. I'm just always in the wind somehow. I'm like, okay, that's how it's gonna go. The face masks have been nice this year. It's kept my kept my uh, lungs from getting so cold. I feel like I've lit yes. them on fire. But absolutely. <laughs> right now, as far as I'm allowed to go um, via doctor's orders, is the backyard. So yeah. I don't go very far. Nice weather will be here soon. So here, I'm just gonna check in here. So Joan, oh, Joan is saying hi, and. Hi. Um, Oh, and Sherry's saying she's still working out one at a time with a heel flap. Why so, not? You know what, Sherry? I just, I know we're supposed to, this is all about sweaters, but you know, I just, <gasps> have, I just happened to have my sock here and I just did my, my heel flap and my heel turn. This is, this is all about sweaters. I've got one, <laughs> two, three, four, five, I got four right behind me we can talk about. <laughs> well, you know what? That's exactly, Zakia. she said, 
she said yes to a sweater blitz. She's got four that she needs to finish. Uh, yep, right in here in my lovely put all my project bags somewhere location. I've got three sweaters on that shelf. I have my half moon tee, my 8-bit sweater, and my simple hug. All right there. I only have one other sweater. My other top-down sweater that I was doing, the other top-down cardigan, I got the body finished on it. So okay. it's just sitting on hold now until I do this one. Um, yeah. um, I put the half moon down for the next two weeks, which is the podcast anniversary fingering yeah. rate color work sweater I'm doing. Yes. Uh, and then the same with the simple hug. I've put that down for the next two weeks so that the only sweater I'm working on right now is the habanero so that I can get it done. But I've got on the table where my sewing machine lives, blanket squares. <laughs> So it's not like, a, and, I, and I got a design chilling out over here by the, I'm just surrounded in knitting. No socks though, guys. Cause I've got my, I've got, I cast it on a pair of Be Relentless mittens. They're, fing, they're elbow length fingerless yeah. gloves for, for when I'm working. And uh, they're on my 2.25 millimeter, my sock needles. So I've got, you know, that much of one arm done. So <laughs> got a ways to go before I get to my uh, thumb gusset. <laughs> You'll get there. I'll get there. So no socks right oh, now. No socks. Unless dad bought me that size needle for Valentine's Day because that was on the list. <laughs> well, then socks could be in your future. Socks could be in my future. Oh my gosh. Everybody's saying how chilly it is. Susanna's <laughs> saying minus 40 with yeah. the wind chill. wind chill. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's cold right across the prairies and into into Ontario. Like we're we're just cold across the board right now in Canada oh anyway. God. Yeah. And Sherry, you so Sherry, you said you were in Australia, right? And she said there's only 23 degrees there, which is That's cold. cold for summer. It's cold for them this time of year, but yeah. man, right now 23 degrees sounds wonderful. Oh, and Jill in Jill, Texas, is said it's going to be minus two for them on Monday. I love winter. I'm not looking forward to spring or summer. I just sort of live through them. <laughs> I know I'm kind of a spring and fall girl, right? Like I don't like the crazy, crazy heat we get. Mm -hmm. And I don't like the ice. Like I don't mind the snow and I don't mind the cold because she's just warmed. For yeah. it, right? But yeah. I don't like the ice. That well, it's because you've fallen. So like you've got, you've got that, you know, things can go wrong on the ice. Yes. Yeah, yeah that's fair. Uh, I hate spring because it is just nothing but a giant lake whole well, world and my feet are never dry hate it true true uh summer i just i'm because i because of where i did my childhood it's too hot down here and i've never acclimated well enough to survive summer without being sick most of the summer so i don't like it but winter's good fall's good i know i guess what i mean i don't know we spend so much time talking about the weather when we have no control over it anyways <laughs> So what can we do? Oh my goodness. Okay. So, okay. So Walter W is saying, so, okay. Yep. Oh, you're MT to MT and it's minus, oh my gosh, minus 31, no wind chill. Yeah. I don't know what we are right now outside. I've not looked recently. Cold. <laughs> Cold sounds about right. Cold. There's a certain one point, like there's got to be some point in there, like you just hit a point and it doesn't really matter how much co colder it gets, like what the thermometer says. It's, I don't know. Cold is cold, right? Oh, we're positive, balmy, negative 27 right now. I don't know what I'm talking about. We're warm. We're fine. Oh, so then, yeah. So it's, it's Sus Susanna and Walter W. They're the ones that are. Yeah, yeah. we're only like minus 36 with the wind chill right now. So we're doing fine. It's been colder this week. Oh. I know, because uh, I've been helping the dog up chilly. and down the step out in the backyard. It's cold. Montana. <laughs> yeah. Cold. Well, we're going to be warm with our bulky weight sweaters. And my decorative button band. <laughs> <laughs> I look forward to seeing you model this. My decorative button band. <laughs> so good oh sherry, and, sherry said she's never seen snow oh we could fix that for you <laughs> <laughs> only, 
we could surely we could package it up somehow and send you <laughs> just just send you a bunch of photos of snow i know snow. oh wow Ta-da! look at that cast on and we're ready to go and we're ready to go <laughs> On the bright side, if people um, follow me on the Northern Knits podcast, they will get a sneak peek because whatever progress I've done up till Sunday right. will be, because Sunday's when we record, they'll get that update on Wednesday when that podcast goes live. Well, and then okay. Thursday we have the check-in. <laughs> that's okay. so the day before the check-in, they'll know where I was on Sunday. They will see a little update. Well, yeah. that's, I was going to say, yeah, what, we never talked about that. Are we going to keep it kind of no, quiet the next Thursday? No, I don't think so. So we can just do, po put on, post on Instagram or Facebook or whatever? Absolutely, yeah. Make sure you okay. tag me to egg me on. I mean, I certainly okay. will. Okay. <laughs> I know, I'm going to wake up and Jocelyn's going to have 12 inches done by tomorrow morning at breakfast. <laughs> Only if it's a double combat at critical role, I might be past my sleeves, but I don't think so otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm up till 2.30 in the morning watching, you know, D&D live streaming, sure. Otherwise, I'm in bed by midnight. It's yeah, late night on too. Thursday. <laughs> me too. But Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, full knitting. I can make some serious progress. I'm going to have a little bit. I won't, I won't get to really start till... Well, I make it a little bit done because guess what? Guess what I'm doing tomorrow morning? I have no idea. If the, you know, tech gods are shining down upon us, the Fiber Friends are podcasting tomorrow. What? Yes. That's crazy talk. I know. I crazy know. talk. So I hope to goodness I just did not jinx it. Well, I mean, if it goes wrong tomorrow, feel free to blame me. I mean... <laughs> fine i don't mind we're gonna try now get this so after zoom we we're gonna use skype okay and that seems to work with caroline's internet mm -hmm. yep. so like fingers crossed yeah it'll work so we'll be podcasting tomorrow oh that'd then, be lovely i know and then I'll, I'll i'll edit but i can knit while i edit and i can knit while we're podcasting so yeah i'll get i'll get a bit of work done there Sorry, I was yawning. <laughs> oh. oh, Rachel, she's saying she always has to spell first and last name. Oh, I, I know. Oh, Rachel. Yes. Is this or is it Rochelle? Is it just Rachel? Anyways, I know. Yeah. Going back to the whole spelling your names things, right? Uh, I well, know. I spelled my first name wrong, but they always get my last name right. So it's fine. Close enough. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> I don't worry about it. Well, I know. Whatever. Most people pronounce it wrong, too, so it's fine. Jocelyn? It's French. It's be Jocelyn. Jocelyn in French is male. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't care. My dad's called me Jocelyn my whole life. <laughs> fine with it. It doesn't matter. So, like, it's one of the go to the coffee shops. They're like, how do you spell your name? I'm like, I don't care. So long as it's the person at the end says Jocelyn, however you get there is fine. <laughs> I know, right? I'm not going to be able to read it anyway, so why do I care? <laughs> <laughs> I know, but that's so funny. Like when back, oh my gosh, it sounds like forever ago, like a year ago when we could actually go to Starbucks on um, on a Thursday night. We used to do knit nights every Thursday night. There was a small group of us would get together. And of course, you know, like they would write your name and You're we'd good. all come back to the table <sighs> giggling because there'd be like most times they would have spelt everybody's name wrong now right and that's like <laughs> whatever mm -hmm. oh hey kathy how are you oh and the crafty chemist oh okay so crafty chemist is autumn so they spell they can't spell autumn either oh my gosh i know it's funny right hey sally how are you got a whole bunch of people joining yeah so Oh, wow. Wow. I need to go now. I I started binge watching. Binge, well, can you say binge watch? I watched, I think, three episodes of Queen's Gambit last night. Sure. That counts. 
And so I'm going to sit now and I mean, that's what I, I was watching as I, well, it didn't take me three episodes to knit this. <laughs> Could you imagine? I would never get a sweater done, but no. I knit this at some point during one of those. Um, and so that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to just sit and watch as much of it as I can. We're quarter to 8 p.m. my time. So I've got about an hour and 15 minutes before my regular Thursday night streaming comes on. Do you see you've got a little bit of time then to so get... I'm going to make a dinner, do some dishes, and then sit down and watch a bunch of actors play D&D for three or four hours. Perfect. And then just knit, knit, knit. And then knit, knit, knit. And then go to bed because I wake up at 6 a.m. whether I went to bed at 10 or midnight. Oh. <laughs> That's when I wake up. No, I am I am not a morning person. So that's, um, yeah. Except for tomorrow because we're podcasting. So that means I have to get up and shower, put makeup on. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. So that means it's... um a little bit of an earlier start than I would want on my day off. But I like the mornings. I like the quiet. I like being done all of my work by three o'clock in the afternoon. I like always having my evenings and yeah. Oh yeah. I just, you just get more done. If you can get up in the morning, you just get more done. And see, I would totally agree with that, but I am not a morning person. I want to be a morning person. I've said this all kinds of times, right? How I have this, like this vision of waking up in the morning and getting my, well, I don't drink coffee, but my orange juice or whatever, right? And going out to the garden and sitting there watching the sun come up and the birds and the flowers, you know, and then head off to work at a leisurely pace, right? But no, I, I wake up you know, with two minutes to spare to grab all my stuff and get out the door, right? It's um... like my mom. No, no, I I can get up and I can have pancakes any day of the week because I've got the time before my work starts. See, I would like that, but I've always been that way. So I don't know. Like, yeah. Maybe so when, it's okay. Maybe when I retire. My mom hardcore settled into she doesn't get up before 9 a.m. And that's early when she retired <laughs> so when I go out to visit her I get up and I do stuff till like 9 30 10 a.m and then my mom gets up and we go do things yeah well, I know better but I also go to bed before my mom does so like <laughs> at 10 p.m I kind of turn into a pumpkin I get grumpy like a child like I'm rubbing my eyes like <laughs> oh. <laughs> I gotta go to bed <laughs> yeah so <sighs> here's a trade-off there is a trade-off. I'm not good at house parties. Can nap anywhere though, so it's fine. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, Rachel's saying, oh yeah, I think this is Rachel's comment saying, yeah, she's agreeing with pajamas too. I know. Oh hey Susan, how are you? BJ Live. <laughs> but hey, we've cast it on. I'm excited. I know. It's officially started. Ah, it's not just going to sit in a no. bag on the floor Pressure waiting for on. me anymore. We can get going. Woohoo. We can start. I know, because we, how long, we did, did we, when did we first talk about this? Was it December? December? Yeah. Yeah. And now look, it's February already. <laughs> hey, I wasn't picking the dates. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I know, that was my department, wasn't it? Yep. <laughs> but I think, I actually think this worked out good to do it in February because it'll, it'll kind of get these two weeks and we'll be almost finished February and, and it's oh. so crazy cold and it's perfect time to stay in the net. Yeah. My sister's birthday was yesterday. My dad's is tomorrow. <sighs> my daughter's is coming. My daughter and my son-in-law are coming up next week. Oh, I got my dad's tomorrow and then it's exactly a month from my sister's birthday till mine. So. Uh, yeah. so we like great. to confuse our mom and go but we're only a year apart right now mom not two <laughs> <laughs> we're mean <laughs> it's okay we occasionally call her and ask her how old we are just to think about it <laughs> so we've got it forgotten <laughs> oops uh, all right well shall we go knit now 
I think so, yeah. I think it's time for me to uh, make some dinner and get my knitting on. All right. I think it is, too. So, happy knitting, Jocelyn. Ooh, happy knitting to you. All right. And so, anybody else who's going to pull out a, a sweater that you've got yeah. tucked away in a project bag somewhere, yeah, 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 yeah. pull it out and knit along with us. Absolutely. So, come back next Thursday. We okay. will come back in and we will do a check-in on where we are, what's going good, what's going bad. Mm -hmm. And hopefully we will, I will remember to keep my sound turned off. <laughs> hey, if they post to Instagram and tag us on our Instagram accounts, we can see what they're doing. Yes. Yeah, because I know yes. you're wildflower and wool, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then I'm uh, the Northern Knits podcast. Okay, the so Northern they, Knits podcast. I believe we're just, hang on, let me check. Is it the? I don't know. I don't think there's the. I think it's just Northern Knits. I think it's, it, there's no the. I think it's just Northern Knits. Northern Knits podcast. Okay, yeah, it's, yeah, it's just Northern Knits podcast. Okay. Then I can see what they're working on and get excited and add sweaters yeah. to my never ending queue. <laughs> Be like, well, I know. Well, after we get this done in two weeks, we'll be just, we can whip out as many sweaters as we want. Once we're done, this Jocelyn super desperately wants to cast on the Ome tea. So she has to finish her half moon tea. <laughs> <laughs> Which is just miles of body knitting right now. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, then on that note, yeah, post pictures of your sweaters. On Instagram, Keg Jocelyn and I. And let's all spend the weekend knitting. Woohoo! I know. It's going to be a, it's a sweater party for the next two weeks, guys. Oh, so good. So good. On the bright side, I have, I'm in control of nothing. So we end when you push the stop button. Uh, <laughs> you know what? And that's what I was just going to say. Is I don't know where it is. Oh, here's live. <laughs> Good heavens, this, this may be the never ending live because, oh, okay. So if I hit the stop, the pause or the live. Should be able to just end your, end your uh, live stream. I don't have an end because I'm not on Zoom. Okay. I'm going to go back here. And see what this does. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh man, this lemonade is very lemonadey. Whoo, hello. So. <laughs> should I click? Should I click? Join a meeting? <laughs> Why would you join a meeting? I don't know. Because I can't find where I am. <laughs> if I go to meetings. Click the live notification in the top left-hand corner of the meeting window. Oh, stop live stream. Oh, yeah. In your Zoom, on your Zoom page. Go back to my... You should be able to stop your live stream. See, when I go back to Zoom, I don't see us, right? I just see. Your intro menu? Yeah. Return to the Zoom app and continue the meeting or webinar. Streaming apps, when you end the webinar or meeting, or click the live notification in the top left-hand corner of the meeting and you press the stop. Oh, it might stop if you just turn Zoom off. I know, I that's know. what I'm thinking, right? <laughs> All right, well, we'll try that. Um, oh, Diana's put in here. Oh, Northern is, okay. Diana does links, man. She's on the ball. All right, Kathy's saying yes. All right. Oh yes, because Dorothy had asked. Hi, Dorothy. She asked, "What's what's your what's your YouTube channel?" So yes, it's <sighs> Northern Northern Nets podcast, and that's your Instagram name as well. Try oh yeah, on YouTube consistent across the board. <laughs> There's no change. 
We are Northern Nits Podcast. That's everywhere. good. Consistent, right? <laughs> oh yeah, it made our lives much easier. It made naming the podcast really interesting because we had to find one that was available across the platform. <laughs> That's <laughs> we found right. one. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, let me see if I can. Yeah. If I <sighs> if I close Zoom, we must we must that should end everything, right? If you if you end the meeting, we should it should in theory turn off your YouTube live. Okay. I'm guessing. Super guessing. Well, let's give it a try. Well, I'll say bye because I'm about to disappear. <laughs> okay. okay, everybody, thanks for hanging out with us. And thanks for your enthusiasm for us for working on these sweaters. Well, I'm so excited. And we'll see you around. So Friday, Friday night, we've got the Fiber Friends Live. Fiber Friends are podcasting. Um, oh. Go check out Jocelyn and Diana's Northern Knits podcast. Yeah. And so those, yeah, we got lots of podcasting, to, podcasts and things to watch while we are sweater knitting. I am excited for the Fiber Friends podcast. Me too. <sighs> so good. And if I'm awake Friday at five, I'll be in the chat for your okay. <laughs> pretty night live check-in. I'm not always awake. Sometimes I'm napping. <laughs> no. That's all right. If you're there, that's wonderful. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's go and knit everybody. It's been great chatting. I'm I only knitting. know one outro. It's my outro. <laughs> hey, what do you say? We always say no matter where your week takes you, don't forget to knit. There you go. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay. I, like I that. only know the one. That's it. That's all I got. <laughs> that is a good one. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Happy knitting. And we'll see you back here next Thursday at 730. 730? Yeah, 730. Sure. Works for me. All right. Bye, everybody. Happy knitting, Jocelyn. Happy knitting, Louise. All righty. Bye. Bye. I can okay, I can still hear you. Cat foot. Cat foot. Cat foot. Oh, I'm gonna get bit if I do that for much longer. Okay. Jocelyn. Is the live stream ended? I don't know. <laughs> uh, we couldn't get it started. No, we, we can't, can't finish it. We're never allowed to leave. Okay, this is crazy. Oh, here we are. Okay, oh my gosh, I had to go to the app. All right, now we can say goodbye. <laughs> I'm ending hey, it now. It's all Bye, about learning.